Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Microsoft OneNote, subpages are simply pages you create and insert into your notebook's organizational structure so that they are related to a broader page. For example, you might have a notebook for work with a section titled Meetings. Within that section, you might have pages for weekly staff meetings, quarterly meetings, annual meetings, and even client meetings. You might then create a new page for each week's staff meeting. For better organizational purposes, it would be best in this example to create each weekly staff meeting as a subpage of the weekly meetings page. You could even name each of the subpages with the date of the meeting or some other descriptive name. In this way, you'll be able to glance at the meeting section of your notebook and quickly locate the information that you need. Let's take a look at how to do this. To create a new subpage, click the Add Page button at the top of the Page Tabs bar. You'll see it's created the untitled page there. Then just click and drag that new page underneath the page to which you wish to add a subpage. So we'll click that and drag it under our weekly staff meetings. Then click and drag the new page to the right to indent it and make it a subpage. Now it's important to note that for each subpage you create, you can have two different settings of indentation when you drag it to the right. Let me show you how to do this. Click and then just drag it to the right. You'll see it indents once and we can indent it twice. So just like an outline, you can create that organizational structure however you like by using those two levels of subpages. Click and drag. You can easily identify the subpages after you create them since their names are indented and placed below their main page within the page tabs bar. Now once you've created your new subpage and placed it where you want, you can then name the subpage in the same manner as naming any other page. So we can go here, for example, and we'll just name this with a date, like that. Now if you're using versions prior to 2013, creating a subpage looks a little bit differently. In that case, you would click to select the page to which you wish to add a subpage. Then you click the Add Page drop-down at the top of the Page Tabs bar, and then choose Create New Subpage. So it looks very similar. It's just a little bit of a different way of doing it. You don't actually have to click and drag it to the right to create the subpage. You just create it as a subpage from the very beginning. Now, as you're creating both pages and subpages, I want you to notice the small icon that appears to the left of the page names in the page tabs bar as you roll your mouse over the names. See that right to the left there? It has a little plus on it. This Add Page icon can be used to add pages and subpages to your notebook section as well. Each page will be highlighted as you roll your mouse over them in the Page Tabs bar. Now, if you are hovering over a page and click the Add Page icon, OneNote will create a new page in the spot where the small black line appears between existing page names. Now, conversely, if you are hovering over a subpage and then click the new page icon, like right here, OneNote will then instead create a new subpage. You'll see it's indented there. You can easily rearrange the order in which subpages appear, just like with regular pages. So to move a subpage, just click and drag on the subpage's name and you'll see that small black line representing the new location as you drag and release to move it. So you can change your order however you like. To delete a subpage, right click on the name and then choose delete from the menu that appears. Now also, note that you can easily convert a regular page to a subpage by right clicking on the page and then choosing Make Subpage from the menu that appears. 
I can right click then and then choose make sub page and that will do the same thing. OneNote will convert it to a sub page of the page directly above it in the page tabs bar. Similarly you can convert a sub page to a regular page. To do so just right click on the sub page in the page tabs bar and then choose promote sub page from that menu that appears and you'll see then that the indentation has gone away and now it's a regular page instead of a sub page. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.